Hello, I'm here to show you a brand new device that we have that you'll be interested in if you work with the iButton Thermocron. And I think you know what the Thermocron is. It's a self-contained temperature logger. There's millions installed and they're very inexpensive. The Thermocron that we work with is the part number DS1921-G which has a range of minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 85 degrees Celsius. Now normally you would program the I button and collect the temperature log using a USB adapter or cabling uh, to a PC. In our case we have a Bluetooth wireless adapter. It's an interlink between the Thermocron and an Android device such as a tablet or a telephone. The Model TA can be powered two ways, one with a 9 volt battery. So it makes this device really nice to work in the field collecting data. We also supply a DC power jack on the bottom so you can attach it to a wall mount adapter. The contact for the Thermocron is a gripping type which is very handy because it allows you to be hands free while you control the Android device. There is also another jack that enables you to extend the Thermocron contacts to um, slightly remote location like 10 feet away in case you want to mount the Thermocron in a hostile environment like a freezer or outdoors. This would be inside and the Thermocron would be outside and you'd be talking to this reader with an Android device. Now I can give you a quick demo to show you how this could work in your system. Here I have a Thermocron mounted to a, a panel and you could for example mount it in a heating ventilation duct uh, or uh, in another room or in a cabinet or wherever you, you want to record your temperature. Because we have the retaining type uh, grip contact you'll simply be able to affix our reader to the mount and uh, you can walk away and let this here run let's say you can walk away 60 feet to 100 feet and use your Android device to access the temperature log and I'll do that right now it is battery powered as you can see the LED indicators are on but if this is a semi-permanent installation where you just want to leave it in a room for a week or a month then you can power the device with the AC wall mount adapter okay now I obtained the Android device This uses an app that we developed ourselves. The display on it is in a certain format so we can accommodate it on the telephone as well, an Android phone. This way the display doesn't have to be scaled up or down and create any confusion. It's, it's basically presented as a standard format. I can start this. I will connect and I do have two Bluetooth devices in here already. I know which one this is. It's the top Bluetooth and I just given it the command to connect and we've connected and you'll notice the yellow LED has come on solid. Now I have a, a few choices I can make here and one is to read the temperature log and I'll do that right now. It's the yellow button
and I also get a small audible alarm from the or audible indicator from the reader just to give you feedback that something's happening. Okay. Now we've we have all the temperature log inside the Android device. And we have three ways of displaying it. One is by a list of all the temperature readings. It's a list that's it's a text list that's 2,000 lines long that contains the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit as well as the sample number and the date and the time. And I can show that to you. Okay, there's the screen and it's a long, long list. At the top are some settings that the Thermocron is in. I can scroll up and with the Android device it's very fast you can go through the whole through the whole thermocron quite quickly uh, this you would use this for example um, after you transfer the data to a PC so you can display it in a spreadsheet or print it or however you want to use the data it's a it is a text file The second way of displaying some of the data is by using the settings button. This will show you the serial number of the thermocron because each thermocron has a serial number that's engraved on the outside and embedded inside. It's globally unique as you probably already know. So this will identify the, the thermocron you're using. It also states when the thermocron was launched, how many samples it's taken, whether the mission is active or not, if rollover is on or off, and it will also display a username that you have programmed in the thermocron. For example, cooler number 5. You can program that in the thermocron and display it here on the, on the device. Okay. The last way of displaying data is using the plot button, which shows a chart recorder type strip with the red cursor going across. That red line is a, a cursor and wherever you intersect that with the graph data, it will display the temperature and time on the bottom text box. So that's really handy. For example, right here the temperature at that point is minus 17 degrees Celsius that's because the, the thermochrome is put into a freezer but before that before putting into the freezer the temperature was 20 degrees Celsius okay You can easily save this plot. And we'll just back up. Uh, we'll press a save button. And uh, we'll see a list of previously saved thermocron logs. For example, uh, January 2013 at work on Tuesday. We can save thousands of temperature logs in the Android device. Each log is about 100k bytes, which isn't very much for the Android capacity. The temperature logs are saved in the SD card, which is usually available on the uh, telephone or on a tablet. So I could save it, I could just enter a a name, a text fi file name. Add it to the list. I can also recall, for example, I can recall uh, a past recording and display it all over again. There's one other connection I just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss, and that is using the extension. In this case it's about a 10-foot cable extension 
that uses telephone type modular connectors. So we could connect the extension cable to the reader, affix this or locate this part outside while the reader is inside. That keeps the reader protected, right? but you're still able to access the data remotely. Like I say, 60 feet, maybe 100 feet away. I've actually done this. I put this outside uh, of our garage at home, and I've put this inside the garage. I've located the tablet in a room in the house so I could uh, measure the outdoor temperature and look at it whenever I wanted to. You would probably want to somehow move the Thermocron data to a PC. And there's one quick and easy way of doing it. That's simply to remove the SD card, okay, and just insert it into the PC card reader. As I indicated, it is a text file, and it would open right away in Notepad or even a, probably a spreadsheet, and you could work on it that way. Uh, you would have to investigate other ways uh, using Wi-Fi. You would be looking for uh, a way to access your folders using Wi-Fi from your PC, using um, uh, probably an Android app to do that. And that way you can just uh, examine your folders in here and download it to your PC. There may also be a way to post the, a folder or file to the cloud using an Android app. Uh, new things are coming out all the time. I, I'm not uh, up to date on that, but there probably is some app that would do that. Also, uh, if you're using a telephone, you could probably just email it. Okay, you could email it to your own PC or uh, to other destination. Here, I'll launch the Thermocron. In the display, there's a button just for that called Launch New Mission. I press it. It'll bring up a screen that uh, enables me to set the sample rate right here. Okay, I can adjust it to up to 255 minutes. Down to one minute, just by using that scroll bar. The time in that will be loaded into the Thermocron is set by the Android clock at the top. And there is a button right here to turn the rollover setting on and off. You can also name the Thermocron by entering a username inside the Thermocron. You would enter that name right here in this text box. I'll call it today. And lastly, there is a small button right here called Launch. So I'll launch it right now, and we are online. Okay, and we get a message, Thermocron successfully launched. And that's all there is to it.